Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video to a brand new episode of Grand Arena 3v3. This is the last round of this 3v3 season and I cannot wait for it to be over so we can go back to 5v5 again which is my preferred Grand Arena style. And this week uh, we're doing okay, lost 1-1-1. One, one, one. The only reason I won the last one was because my defense did its job. Um, the off the offense will kind of screw me over a little bit with my challenges uh, which let me down twice and then obviously I let myself down twice with LV losing and uh negotiator fight not going particularly well again so probably not gonna be using xq2 against that for a while but in today's round my opponent is called tack and they are from the guild dk raiders and they have 11.9 million gp so it's very close to me uh, this should hopefully be a very good fight so let's jump over to the wheel and get my challenges sorted for this round okay so over on to the defense wheel let's do a quick shuffle and a spin to see what my first defense challenge is going to be Please be nice to me. Oh, I'm not placing JML again. Okay, I'm, I'm re-rolling this. I did JML last round. I'll right, hide that, shuffle, spin again. First challenge, JML does not count because I had to do that last time. Three Rebel teams. Okay, three Rebel teams, I can do that. Let's hide the option, shuffle. Spin again for our second defense challenge, which looks like it's going to be placing Full light side wall. That's pretty easy to do. I can do that. Three rebel teams, full light side wall. Fairly happy with those defense challenges. Let's go over to the offense wheel. Do a shuffle here and my first spin. Please be nice to me today. I don't want Karth or anything like that. Oh, it's gonna be Tarful, isn't it? Okay. We'll use a Tarful team. Mm, that could that could work i could see that working better than like karth and uh rebel fighters did last round so that could be quite interesting let's hide the option go for a shuffle second spin for second challenge and then obviously we've just got to do flex to end uh boba sign a django okay that could work as well obviously you, with a bounty hunter team of some sort um yeah let's hide the option go over to flex wheel go for a shuffle spin Please be nice to me. Ah, why? Okay, well, Ray's going to be a lot weaker this round, um, but I might be able to try to set something up on defense that this could potentially work, but obviously we, we shall see. Um, so... That is my challenges. Obviously, if you do enjoy this, a like and comment is always much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that sub button down below. And let's jump straight into it. So into the attack phase we go. And as you can see, my opponent has done one attack already. I don't know whether they're going to keep doing more attacks, but they've attacked at least once and cleared my Saw Guerrero team. I'm guessing they probably use Bane. That's just going to be my prediction. Um, but I don't know whether they're going to keep attacking. Obviously, we'll obviously see when we get to that later on. But for now, we are going to be obviously starting in the south zone as usual. I will very quickly show you the teams we have in both zones. So in the north zone, we have Rex Rex Fives, a Sig, Malakos, and Brew team. Uh, CLS, Chupio, and C3. A Dark Troop of Gideon with Death Storm. And then a Trench with Dooku and what? But no Trench problem, which is a bit odd. Um, and then in the south zone, we have the Ray and Jane K that you can see up there on the default preview. An LV as well with Maul and Thrawn, a Malgus, uh, Bastler and Darth Revan. The MK Cat, obviously General Kenobi, a Jabba, and Lantern. And a Ray, so very heavy uh, GL wall. So we're probably actually be using a lot of good counters on this wall to just try and get through. I've said need to try and find some teams that I can use Tarful and a team with Boba Sana Django in it. So that's going to be quite interesting to see whether we can come up and actually use those to a good success <laughs> compared to the last video where both my challenges completely flopped because I, uh, yeah, it just the wheel wasn't very kind to me. But first off, uh, let's get this LV out of the way, I think. Let's see that one first. Okay, so delete Thrawn. Then Arm Shred. You can AOE. Okay then. Let's clear that daze. After 
LB. Might even kill LB before. Maul. Uh, very basic. No. I oh, could have called in. No. Oh, well, never mind then. Uh, what's that going to be? 54? Possibly 55? Yeah, well, 64 banners, obviously, for the first attack. But yeah, 54 banners there, basically. I'm really hoping this works. Can I have a turn? <laughs> Can I have a turn? Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, once we actually get a turn, it's okay, I think. But all that was... Uh... Okay, I need, I need to... Hold my horses a little bit here. Okay. Oh, that was risky. I know obviously with the Malik uh, in there, it doesn't work because obviously the drain can still affect you, but that's still a bit spicy, especially if it gets a really good uh, Sith Empire team, but still managed to get the job done for a nice 59 banners, which is great against that sort of lineup. Now for good old Leia versus uh, JMK. This is the Datacron they have. I don't even know. Did I show Datacrons in the last fight? I can't remember now. I don't think I did. Uh, the Sith, the Malgus team actually just had a bit of a health and extra protection. Nothing too crazy. And I was taking more, obviously my Sidious Crown, which you guys have seen plenty of times before. But this is the deck I'm taking for this fight. So I guess there's much point doing that because we can't manipulate our TM, but we'll go for it anyway. Uh, can we stun? No. I do. Okay, we'll just get rid of that straight away. It's fine. Uh, let's stun that time though. Get burning on a soaker if we can. The Shakila Soka obviously get the sacrifice thing or savior, whatever you want to call it. Come on. Are you kidding me? Why is it always when I, my AI decides to do it? It's always giving it to General Kenobi, but opponent's AI always gives it to Cat. Okay, good. All right. to general connect you son of a uh oh you say yeah i've got healing immunity on me all right use it next go though i'm just gonna use it now i don't feel like i gen uh, JMK is going to die before. Yeah. 55, that's okay. I can manage with that. Got me Bane versus Ray uh, yet again. That was Relic 9 Bay. Bay? Blah, blah. Ray? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, very good day as well. Lots of extra offense health. I mean, that extra protection is there, but I'm guessing that was on the level 7 or 8 and didn't have enough reroll mats, which is fair enough. Uh, and obviously, it does help our Ben as well, I suppose. Uh, this is a deck one, obviously, I'll take with my Bane. So, let's hit Ben. Okay. Um, AoE, I guess. And again. Wow. This sucks. Do that, I suppose. 
Uh, basic to kill Ben. He's not coming back. And then do it again. And then this should just kill Ray. There we go. Nice and easy for 54. Okay, Esoka versus Jabba. This is the deck Kron. They have extra potency and tenacity. Obviously, doubt on the level three as well. This is the same, pretty similar deck Kron to what I'm taking, basically. I have a mirror match in that regards. The basic on Pashantan. We'll cleanse straight away. A bit annoying. Okay, we'll just go for a stun on him then. Now swipe. Goodbye, first order officer. Oh wow, you're actually doing a fair bit of damage to me. Alright, let's hope you kill Boosh. Okay, she's dead. Oh, that should hopefully be fairly easy win from here, but not going to be great banners. Probably 53, um, 52, I want to say. Hopefully, at least. Alright, let's try and kill percent in one shot. Nope. Maybe now. Okay, he's dead, not coming back. Basic Jabba. Poke him in the face. Then we do a big jumpy jump. And poke him in the face again. Uh, and kill him. 50, yeah, 52 banners. What I thought I was going to get. Oh, that does actually mean we have the back zone open. Please be something I can use Tarful or Boba Sina Django against. Please, please, please. Oh, Saucy's there again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a Merin. Ah, oh, it's the exact same sorty team as before. I mean, I'm actually kind of tempted to take Tarful against that first. Obviously, with like Vets, Vet Chewbacca for the Dispel, uh, Zalbar in there as well. Obviously, Tarful is the lead. But like, that might be my best shot of actually getting a win with that. Yeah, let's do that first, actually. Actually taking uh, Chewbacca with my, obviously Zalbar and Tarful against this team, which is a stun. I can never remember. This one is. Go for Slam. A B. Nice uh, armor shred there. Needs to get. I mean, I need to get rid of uh, BB-8 first, really, because he's the weakest. Obviously, we're going to have a bit of annoyance with L3 cleansing all the time, but I do think we should have the survivability with this. It's just going to be down to timing, basically, rather than get free salty. Done again. Wasn't the that was the equalization from L3, I think. There, another armor shred, which is great. Uh oh. Okay, there's the spare parts gone. Wow, that was 52k, whatever that was. Slam dunk. Come on. 
Okay, good, there we go. I just put it as a full auto, I think. How is he not... There we go. I don't... Are we going to get free sorting? I have no idea. Oh, it looks like we're actually getting through her, so this could actually work. Come on. Yes. And full banners as well. Fantastic. That's brilliant. This is probably really dumb, but I really hope this works. Uh, this is the Datacron that they have. Nothing too crazy. That's why I thought this could actually work. I'm taking Boba, Sana, Django, Lee with Zam and Hondo. Uh, Hondo is starting, obviously, because I... Well, I'll see after what because of the Omicron. So I feel like I'm actually going to stop uh, Camp Dooku for a little bit and then bait, get some thermals out now. Uh, do I, I don't really want to count. I'm going to go for a basic. Okay, right. Let's call in Sam, I think. Yeah, I'm not liking the look of this, to be honest. It might just come down to Honda at the end. Why are they so focused on Zam? Oh, Zam's dead. Nice. No. Alright, I stopped Dooku for a little bit because he's one who can, well, change the stomach as well, but. I do love how uh, <laughs> this Boba Sider Jagger fires as you just turn it into a Hondo solo. <laughs> uh. If he can stop getting stunned though, he's so annoying. You're meant to have like ridiculous amount of evasion at this point. Oh my god. Bigger hit, but still not great. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take that back. Where were these? Where were those like 30 seconds ago or a minute ago? Okay, 51 mana win. <laughs> and we did both our challenges and they both got wins, even though that was an absolute mess. 
apparently C can solo this uh, Malakos team. So I'm just going to link up crew and Malakos. This is the Dacron. They have a bit of doubt on me and then I'm taking exactly the same thing, but obviously with some more stats. So let's get some deceived on crew. Man, I'm not too confident with this with the healing immunity stuck on us. Obviously, it does help that Malakos can't crit us. Go into ultimate. So I feel like that's probably a decent play. Hopefully, the. Oh, there you go. If it's a full or do. Okay, what the old faithful JML versus Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. This is the Daycron. They have uh, lots of extra crit avoidance, which is not going to be a problem for JML and his lead special. This Daycon I'm taking for my Geos. Just wanted it for the extra protection, obviously, for the lead damage bonus. And I'm just going to say something now. This level six on this Daycon has been driving me absolutely nuts. I can't, for the life of me, get the anti days one. It always gives me the same ones every time I reroll. It's really annoying me. <laughs> Would actually like to be able to get that so I can actually boost my Geos up a little bit to actually give them a go more going forwards, obviously, while this Daycon is active. So. Uh, yeah, a bit annoying, but fine, I guess. Goodbye, Doc. That healing immunity sucks. Right. It's heal. I don't get any protection back, but the heal is fine. Nice dodge. Get up again, maybe. Need to keep spamming healing, basically. No, not really matters at the moment because you got down on me. You could uh, drop the doubt off here, that'd be great. Oh, here we go, big heal. Ah, oh, and we got the doubt straight away. Never mind. There we go. Hermit waves everyone to death for 55 banners. Come on, Night Sisters, do your job for me, please. Good. Um, yeah, might as well keep basic, I guess. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> so like the fact that Marin's almost dead. I'm going to go into this next go because I do not want her to die. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> mm, I'm not going to get good banners on this fight. I just tell already. Well, we might do actually. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, gonna miss uh, the banners on. Oh, actually, we'll be able to get 100% health recovery here. Yeah, we do. Okay, so that on that A, not A, we, but the mass assist there on Talton, if you kill someone with that on that go, you get 100% uh, health recovery, which is good for banners. If any of you didn't know that, but um, yeah, 56 banners there. Very good. All right, LB versus uh, Townsend and Merrin, and everyone knows how this is probably going to go. Basically, just got to wait for ultimate so we can kill them and they stay permanently dead. So, yeah, this is going to be a very exciting fight to watch. I'll probably skip to the end whenever we get the killing blow. Yeah, we won 59 banners. 
First time I actually brought Reaver off defense for quite a while. I figured as it was the last round of the season, I would actually use her on offense. And we're taking it against Saw Guerrero and Tarut against a good Tarut Kron. And this is the Data Kron I'm taking. Just one pretty basic, really. The, I don't know why I took this one. I just clicked on the Data Kron and decided to take it. Uh, so let's actually inflict torture on base. Come on, Shriek, cleanse everyone. I know you want to. Yeah, we'll just kill everyone before that, then. There we go, 54. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that AWE there with Grand and Crystal. I think I've just lost some balance because of the health equalization. Hmm. It was a bit of a mistake there. I probably could have got 56 had I not done that and done a basic instead, but never mind. It is what it is. Using Maul versus this um, Captain Rex team. So this is the Datacron they have. Obviously protection up on the level 3. Pretty nice stats as well. This is the Datacron I'm taking. Just my Mando Kron for bow. I uh, don't really use very much. Uh, it gives me a bonus 10 if they fall below 100% health. Uh, do I just go? I think I just go straight for 5 straight away. On 4 stacks. I think that should be enough. He says. Are you kidding me? Okay, good. <laughs> Bang. Oh. Uh, might as well use these. What do I have a feeling I'm going to get Rex later in a minute? I uh, called it. <laughs> uh, right, let's kill Rex then because he's been just as annoying. And I hope you kill his old man version. There we go for 56 banner win. Very nice. I do love this team. It's a lot of fun to use. Think of Malgus versus this CLS team. We should do a lot of damage, I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, so I'm hopefully going to leap out CLS here, is the idea. But this is the Oh, actually, no, we probably won't because that level 3, which would be really annoying. But this is the I'm taking, my Hordokron. I just wanted it for the extra health, obviously, on my Relic 9 Malgus. Because uh, it's based on health, I believe. Yeah, equal to 40% of Darth Malgus's max health. And I'm pretty sure he's pretty healthy at the moment with being Relic 9. Like 160k normal health and then obviously the 30% no extra on top. So... Please one shot him. I hope it one shot him. Yeah, easy. 167k. There on the leap. Let's hit this. I don't ever want to go after C3 uh, Chico even, but I guess I might as well. Let's stall out a little bit. Come on. I'll right, just do another big leap. <laughs> Very nice. Bought A50 since Banner win. Unfortunately, Darth for everyone's missing his protection balance there. Okay, bit of a weird squad to finish on, but. That we throw something a bit interesting out there considering Ben was banned for Ray on my flex wheel. So this is where I had actually taken him off defense and I had planned to use him on offense with like JTR and Holdo, uh, but never really found a team that was probably worth actually using that against, especially with the other challenges I had to do. So this is a day when I have extra doubt on the level three, 52 percent potency well. This is really nice Iden Cron. Um yeah, this team should still manage uh regardless of that, really. So Oh, uh, well. We do a lot of damage, I'm hoping. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> that did no damage. <laughs> we can just go after Iden if we want to. Okay, 
Okay, the one time I didn't slow it down, we actually do a one shot. Uh, but yeah. The reason why for Iden is because with Tara Malakus' Omicron, you have the anti revive there. So uh, even with her special ability, the way she gets the revive thing, it doesn't matter because uh, you will just perma kill them. So, wow, 139k to finish for a 57 banner win. And that does mean we can move on to fleets. And luckily for me, we don't have a Leviathan, but we do have a Negotiator with a Marauder, which I'm pretty scared of because it, uh, as you guys know, if you watched my previous couple episodes of Grand Arena, it has not gone particularly very well for me. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to start off with obviously Profanity versus Executed. I'm just going to have to figure out what to do against the other two. Probably use Radus versus uh, Malevolence. And yeah, I don't want to use Executor versus uh, Negotiator, so I've got to think of something different than that, but uh, we'll probably come to that last. So I'm actually going to... Yeah, we'll start off with Executor first, get out of the way, because then it will give me a good idea what I need to clean up and stuff if I need to at all. Right. All in Falcon. There goes him. Please get crit damage down, we do. And a daze. That's brilliant. Hey. Okay. Kill, please. Let's bring in Phantom. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, stop. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Let me wiggle. There we go. Assist. Falcon. Good. Let's get marked on Xanadu. Kill Cad. Goodbye to him. Oh, that was a bit lucky there. Get defense pen up on everyone there with that AWE. Ah, uh, could have gone a Razor Crest. That's my mistake. Not pay attention. Might as well bring in Ghost, I suppose. Wow, that was a lot of assists. From Profanity as well. And again. And again. Damn. Well, he didn't last very long. Uh, all right. Here we have ultimate. That's good. That mean, should mean we get 75 banners against this. Oh, blimey. I actually got a nice bunch of assists there, which is really good. Uh, now we can move on to... I'm going to do Malevolence first, I think. Unless. No, I'm going to look up to see what I'm going to use against Negotiator, because that will definitely help with my plans. <laughs> What? Okay, I'll give it an exec one last chance against this, but and apparently this attacker line has a higher win rate with, than the one with House Tooth, so. This is, I don't understand. Why am I starting? I'm guessing it's all to do with like relics and mods and stuff. I don't, I don't I'm guessing that is the thing, but. I stun. Okay, um... I might as well bring in House Tooth, I suppose. Get a taunt going, try and stop them hitting my other ships. Nice big hit, big hits from IG. Nice. Right. Uh, let's call in CAD. I'm going to heal up by D. I don't know if that's a good idea. 
Got an IG, hopefully for a double tap. Good. Done. Nice. Uh, oh, of course it lands on IG. Are you kidding me? Steal my banners at the end. Uh, I need to stall this out. Let's don't do any damage. What did I just say? No. The one time I don't need you to double tap. Ugh, 70 mana is still pretty decent though. I'll quite happily take that. Last but not least, we have Radus versus Malevolence. And... A hey, nice dodge. Go for this, I suppose. And Wiggle. Need to save our AoE for when uh, Comeuppance comes in. Yeah, nice dodges here. All right, bring in comeuppance. We do that, and then we do a big AWE, and hopefully everyone dies in this. Ah, oh, I should have targeted some back. No, no, no. Good. There we go. For 73? Yeah. Okay. We're, wait, did we? We want to everything. <gasps> no way. I think we might have got a very good score as well. 20... I don't know, actually, because we did get a couple of low banner fights with, like, Hondo having to carry Boba and Zam and there's a couple of other low banner fights. So, but I'm hoping at least for 20... 30, please. Oh, wow. 2064. <laughs> I was not expecting that much banners. Blimey. Okay, well, I've exceeded my expectations on what I was expecting there. But yeah, um, let's go over my defenses because I did have to set, I believe, three rebel teams. Yeah, three rebel teams and one for light side wall. So I will go over my whole defenses. This is where my full light side wall is and a couple of my rebel squads. So I've got my Qualcomm Jin at the top, uh, CLS and Chupio. This wall has, really hasn't changed much. I've changed things up a little bit, and but not a whole lot really. And then we've got Saw, Shroot and Baze. That's my other rebel team. And then the other rebel team was in my back wall. But I will show you what's in my south front zone so you can see what's there. Bin, Bin, and Zori, MK, Cat, MK, Ray, Cal, and L3. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing with that team. I was just kind of hoping that L3 would have been a bit annoying with the debuff this spell. Um, and Cal obviously being his nuisance with his uh, unique, but I don't know whether that actually comes into play now. I think about it. He might have, have to have full uh, Analyze Force users in that to actually apply that, but never mind. Uh, we've set it now, so I can't do much about it. But yeah, that is my front wall. Then in the back wall, like I mentioned, we have my rebel team. Uh, and yeah, that is what I've set. That's my rebel team there, my rogue one squad. And this is the rest of the board. And then I've set like basically the same fleets I always set on defense, negotiator, malevolence, and a leviathan. For any of you that, that are interested in what I set on defense, maybe. That's mostly what I set all the time. If any of you watching, I might change up. <laughs> Opponents, that is. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of tempted just to say that my opponent won't attack again. Uh, whether they're just doing one attack and they're going to be busy and then come back to it later on. But I will obviously wait and see until later on in the phase to see whether my opponent does come back. So until then, I shall catch you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back later on. As you can see, my opponent didn't do any further attacks. They just left their score on 67. I'm guessing a lot of people do this in Cup 1 uh, to give them more of a favourable uh line up for the first week of 5v5 which is quite a good idea because you're still going to get the same crystals regardless and if you've done pretty well um you might as well just drop a fight sometimes but it's quite annoying my point because obviously i want to try and uh for people to actually go against my defenses i set because of the wheel but it is what it is and that does mean we have done pretty well at the end of the season i believe we finish at a decent score i'm pretty happy with what score i'm at at least uh, but this is gonna start making the wheel a bit more interesting um 
going up the rankings because obviously we're going to be uh, coming up against a lot harder teams which is not going to be uh, really great for using things like car bleed for example <laughs> not really going to be able to use that as much and well at least to a great effectiveness i should say but yeah that is it obviously thank you very much for watching this video and obviously thank you very much as well for watching the whole of this grand arena season and i shall catch you in the next one